So my name is Larry Chrysler. I am the owner of the Little Guy Computer Consultants and Repair, uh, your local computer technician. And uh, I'm here at AHT to tell you a little bit about uh, who I am and what I do. Oh, so Larry, I met you at the networking social Christmas time yes. at the Anchorage house. That's correct. Yes. So I said, you know, we should, now that you joined Haba, we should do a little interview. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. So I, uh, I'm a computer technician by trade. Uh, I've been uh, in the field since 1995. I uh, was a computer instructor for the college that uh, I actually got my diploma from. Um, and, uh, and that was in 1995. And I was tired of everybody, you know, companies downsizing and outsourcing. Um, as a computer technician, there was a lot of things that in my jobs that I could do um, that could be done offshore. And that's what happened. I got, I got tired of people telling me that, uh, you know, it's time to go home. We don't need you anymore. And I opened my own business in 2012. That is amazing. So you're saying that you're busy Friday. So you've only been here a year and you already have clients. Yes. How are you doing this? Um, well, uh, word of mouth, because I do very little in advertising. Um, I rely on the people that I fix the computer for. Uh, to tell their friends and, and, and family members about me. Um, and, and that way, you know, and that's how I'm getting out. Now I do have a, I do have a Facebook page and I just started up on Instagram. So, uh, um, you know, the little guy underscore CC, that's where we're at. You'll find the page under, um, either my name, Larry Chrysler, or if you search the little guy, you'll find me there as well. Perfect. So, and also, I feel like you're really good at networking, um, maybe because you were an instructor in the past. I just heard that you had breakfast at the Lions Club. What a great place to network. Oh, absolutely. Um, there, you know, everybody gets together every Monday, uh, the Lions Club, up on Lions Club Road. Uh, it's all based on donation, uh, which is a great place. Lions do, uh, um, some great things in the, uh, in the area. And, uh, on top of everything else, I'm also a lion. So I volunteer my time with them as well. Oh, that's amazing. And so why of all places in all of Nova Scotia, you thought, Hey, Hubbards. I lived in Hamilton, Ontario, which is about one eighth of the size of Toronto. Toronto has, and its suburbs have 6 million plus. So I lived in Hamilton all my life. Amy and I got married in Hamilton. Um, six years ago, we moved to St. Catharines because we wanted a, a slower lifestyle, but you know, still keeping my business going, uh, which I did. COVID hurt. Um, I actually closed my business uh, because of COVID. Um, in, in 2022, um, January 1st, we moved here in February of 2022, uh, from there because we wanted it nice and quiet. It's the laid back lifestyle that we've been looking for. Now there's a backstory to, uh, the reason why we even chose Nova Scotia. Uh, I came to this lovely province for the first time in 2002 uh, with uh, we come up for visiting because my wife has family here in Nova Scotia. Um, we did the Cabot Trail and when we finished the Cabot Trail and started heading back home, I said to my wife, I said, Amy, we will live here one day. That was in 2002, 2020, you know, 2022. We're here, 20 years later, still it happened. Now, mind you, our kids are back in Ontario, um, <laughs> you know, uh, and we miss them every day. However, if you're from a big city, you don't understand what the lifestyle is. And it was just, it was getting too busy. Yes. So we, we wanted that change. We were at that point. I originally closed the business and on January 1st, 2022, moved here. And something happened about three months after we were here. And that was people started finding out what I used to do and that I had my business. 
and people started telling, and, you know, telling me, I said, Larry, maybe you should reopen, you know, because, you know, we need help. I need help. I know somebody who needs help. So I put it out on Facebook one day um, to see if there was that actual true need. And there was. So I resurrected the little guy computer consultants, added repair to the name uh, because, you know, consultant is so, you know, 1990. <laughs> yes, you're trying to explain this to me the other day. So what do you mean actually by the little guy computer consultants? Like what exactly do you do? Okay. So what I do is uh, I clean, uh, fix, upgrade, um, and even coach uh, purchase, you know, the, the purchase of a computer with the end user. Yeah. Cleaning it up. Uh, yeah, cleaning it up, uh, making them faster. It's impossible in today's day and age with how fast software, um, how vast it, they, they, they're writing and creating it. It is, uh, it's very difficult to take a computer back to the day that you purchased it because as the software is updated and upgraded, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. So it takes more resources in order to run because it's written for the next generation computer and the next generation computer. And this is the reason why computers get slow, as slow as they do. That and the fact that uh, I have seen my share of computers that have um, more than one antivirus or uh, malware program on it where you should only have one. Um, but people want to be safe, so they figure, oh, if I've got two or three, then... Uh, well, sometimes they trick you. Oh, they do. They, they do. They say, no, you have to add this one now and add this one, and then you do it. But now I've learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, any, com any, any antivirus that's out there is going to update for free. You always have the base protection. You may not have email protection, but I'll tell you, you open up an email, it has an attachment. And if your antivirus is working properly, as soon as you click on that attachment to open it up, that antivirus is going to find it, quarantine it and clean it and let you know. Mm -hmm. And it happens in real time. You want all of the bells and whistles afterwards. That's what you pay for. I see. Okay. Now for those who are running a vast antivirus or uh, AVG free, um, there's been several times where the server has been compromised. I don't trust these two free ones anymore. Unfortunately, those are the only free ones that are on the market. I see. So like, what do you recommend then with my computer? Cause it has been upgraded a couple of times or cleaned a couple of times. Should I just let it go? Um, no, not really. It still has some use, so yeah, I don't want to check. They, it. they, they always, uh, there, there always are. Okay, um, I had a call. I had a client on Friday, um, and uh, a week, a week ago, we had that big lightning storm in the middle, in, in the middle of the afternoon there, and uh, there was a lightning strike, and it took out several of my client's community uh, oh. with the lightning strike and uh, popped a lot of the computers. Um, when that happens, it's cheaper to actually buy a new computer. The hard drive could still be okay. So we salvage what we can, but a lightning strike. Um, I heard yesterday on the radio that the average um, static shock can range up to 177 volts. Wow. Yeah. Now you wonder why it hurts when you get shocked, right? Right. It's just that little bit. But any type of electricity can harm a computer. That. But uh, static electricity is the biggest killer. People are like, oh yeah, I can open it up and then I'll, I'll, I'll just grab the vacuum and clean it out. The vacuum creates a negative charge. And if it arcs, and it touches the central processing unit, you can fry a computer just with a little tiny shock. Oh my God. So you have to be careful with it. I didn't even know it. that. Yep. And you'd be surprised how many people actually will use a, a vacuum. Even at least one of those small ones, they sell them. Four. Four computers. But they create a negative charge sucking in the air on the plastic end. 
And if you touch a component while you're trying to vacuum it out and get rid of the dust, that's why you should always have a, a technician like me look at it. Uh -huh. I did not know. I learned something new today. <laughs> you know, like I'm happy to be here. Um, I found, uh, I, I, I found where I wanted to yeah. be. Well, it's harder I, in a bigger city to have a community. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. It, it, it is harder. Um, you know, uh, with a smaller community, you, you have advantages when, when people know what you're up to and what you're doing. It's also a disadvantage too, in some cases. However, um, you know, at the end of the day, I feel at home here in Hubbard's. That's great. Well, welcome to Hubbard's Thank and you. welcome to being a HABA member. And we'll see you at the June 2nd, June 3rd Business Expo. That is correct. That's great. We can't wait to ask you so many questions about computers. Yep. So should we bring computers to you that day? Um, bring, <laughs> bring your questions. Bring yeah. your questions. I'll have, uh, I'll have a couple of demos as to what a hard drive looks like inside, oh. what a memory stick looks like, um, things like that. Um, I'm still looking for computers that haven't been open for the last couple of years. You know, one that you can do away with for a day just so that I can, see, I can show people just how dusty even the oh. cleanest house can get inside the computer. You'd be surprised. I mean, yes, because there's a fan there and it kind of sucks everything in. Yep, the fan cools the system inside. So it sucks everything in, including animal dander, hair. Uh, oh, yeah. If you've got a cat, you need your computer cleaned out inside. I have two bunnies, so and oh, they that's, shed like yes. crazy. <laughs> yes. Yep. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Larry. Thank you for, for having me.